welcome to today's podcast. My name is Mrs. Ahama Badwe Madu for all your hosts. Today we'll be talking about uh, sustainable business success in multi-level marketing. I'm going to give you 10 keys to help you become successful in your network marketing business. 10 keys. Make sure you listen to the end so that you get these keys, apply them, and succeed. These are the keys that helped me succeed. They will surely help you to succeed. Now, number one, if you want to have, there's difference between having success and sustainable success in network marketing. Some people can have quick and uh, success and then it's not sustainable. You see, they begin to go down instead of going up. You, you should have a success in network marketing that continues to appreciate. It continues to go up. Not the one that you succeed today and tomorrow you are down. No, that's not sustainable success. So today I'm going to be teaching you 10 keys that will help you become very successful, have sustainable success in your network marketing business. Number one, have a strong why. Have a strong why. What do I mean by have a strong why? Your why is the reason why you are in business. Ask yourself, why am I in business? Why did I even decide to get on board this uh, industry called network marketing? If you don't have a strong why, you fall along the way. That's the truth. Because in the beginning, you have challenges. You experience difficulties when you're trying to learn the ropes. Only your why can keep you going. Your why will keep you going. So you must have a strong why, a strong reason why you're here. And until you achieve that why, do not give up. So if you want to have sustainable success, have a strong why. Don't just join the business because you just need quick money. No. Join the business. Even if... Uh, extra money is your reason, is your why. Let it be uh, financial freedom because financial freedom takes time to get. So have a very strong why. Until you achieve that, do not give up. Okay? Number two, you want to have sustainable success? Build with integrity. Integrity matters a lot in our business. If you are seen as someone that uh, always do, does not tell uh, tell the truth, you tell lies. If you're someone that tells lies or exaggerates about your opportunity, you, you would have you may have short-term quick success, but it will not be sustainable. Why? Because people that you, you like to, to join your business, by the time they realize that you lie to them, most of them will, will, will become uh, redundant. They, they will refuse to push their business. And when your team is not moving, when they are not active, you will not achieve that success you want. So build with integrity. Be a person of integrity. Let your yes be yes. The truth is enough. There is no need to lie about the opportunity. The truth is enough. Build with integrity. So that when people see you, they follow you for you who you are. Don't forget that people buy you, not your company. They buy you, not your company. So you must have to project yourself out there as someone with integrity. So people have to see you and trust you. If they trust you, they will do business with you. But when they don't trust you, believe me, nobody will want to do business with you. So if you want to have sustainable success in your business, build with integrity. Number three, be futuristic. Be futuristic. Sean, get rich quick uh, mindset or mentality. Our business is a futuristic business. So do not have the, the mindset of come today and then you, you, you grab all the money and run away. No, it doesn't work that way. You must be futuristic. Start with the end in mind. What is that your why? What is your goal? Why did you join the business? You must have that mind, uh, have it at the back of your mind and keep pushing until you get there. So do not have uh, a get-rich-quick mindset. Be futuristic. Number four, be the leader you want to see in your team. Be the leader you want to see in your team. That thing you want to see in your team members, you want them to be active, be active. You want them to be running seminars, for example, run seminars. You want them to show up on social media, pushing their business, do the same. Anything you want to see in your team, make sure you do that. Lead from the front, be a good example and your team will follow. Okay, and you must acquire 
knowledge as a leader because you can't give what you don't have so you must have you must be knowledgeable about your business so that you can be able to impact uh, meaningfully into your team members number five it's your business take charge stop waiting for anyone to run your business don't wait for uplines don't wait for sidelines don't wait for anyone run your business take charge of your business from day one try to get all the needed information for you to uh, run your business successfully get books enroll for uh, mentorship courses grab books i wrote a book called how to build a solid team when you get this book don't just get for yourself get for your downlines as well because uh, there's uh, this lady uh, I follow that says, when you develop yourself, you're developing yourself for your upline. But when you're developing your downlines, you're developing your own business. So get this book, How to Build a Solid Team, written by Ahoman Badewe Madoforo. Read it, understand what is in it. It will help you build a solid team that will help you earn well and also live your dreams. So when you read, you, you get for your downlines and every one of them reads and digests the book. And you see your team uh, growing the way you want, growing very fast and yourself building a uh, very solid team. So take charge of your team. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait to be pushed about. Take charge of your business. Number six, complain less. So many people are whiners. They complain just about everything. They complain about the company. They complain about the products. They complain about their team members. They complain about... They everything, complain about uplines. Everybody is wrong apart from them. That's, that's not the way to grow in business. Instead of complaining, find a way to solve the problem. Find solutions. Every challenge has a solution. Find solutions to the issues. Complain less and teach your downline the same. Do not uh, promote uh, negativity in your team. It will slow your, your business growth. It, it will not allow you to grow. Be positive all the time. Remove negativity and your business will grow. Okay? Number seven. Have in mind that our business is a five-year plan. At least in two to five years, plan to succeed in the business. So you must be patient. Be patient. When you build with patience and you build block by block brick by brick brick keep building your business keep teaching your and training your team members and they keep doing the same keep duplicating your business will surely uh, grow before you know it enters into autopilot that is when you 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 now do very little and you gain so much in the beginning uh, you you put in a lot of effort and get little at a point you begin the, your effort is commensurate with what you're getting it gets a certain point when you just put in little effort and you get so much in return okay so just have it in mind when you come in tell yourself it's a five-year plan i'm going to build this business and stay put till five years and i'll achieve uh, i'm in my business uh, within less than four years i built a team of about 140,000 members and i am a seven-figure weekly earner in naira it's been an amazing journey i've helped so many people live their dreams so many people become financially independent so many people they have so much now people that couldn't even afford to eat in the past now they have a lot to share with people and give to the less privileged people that were wealthy in the past they even have more to to share with their dependents to empower people it's been an amazing journey so tell yourself this is a five-year plan i'm going to stay put and build if others succeeded i will also succeed that's the right mindset you must have the right mindset to build the business when you have the wrong mindset you, your business will not grow. Number eight, show up every day. Be consistent. Be consistent. Show up every day. If you want your business to grow, you must be consistent. Do not uh, show up today and tomorrow you are not in business. You must show up. Be consistent. Consistency is uh, the, the way to go in this business. Don't be lukewarm. Today you are hot, tomorrow you are cold. It doesn't work that way. You must be consistent and must come out building your business with so much energy and uh, trust me, it will help your business to grow. Number nine, if you want your business to grow, you want to have sustainable success in your business, train your team members. It's very, very important for you to train your team members. If you don't train them, they cannot duplicate. When you don't give them a system 
for them to use and run with. They will be confused. Not very many people are high flyers that will just come into the business and begin to run on their own. So you must help them get started. Help your downlines get started. Train them on what to do. Retrain leaders in the team. Keep doing that. Keep exposing them to what they should do. Let them get relevant books. Like I mentioned, my book, How to Build a Solid Team. Read and pass down. Anybody that joins the team, they buy the book and give the person. Give it as a gift and the person lends you rope. And your team will grow and duplicate rapidly okay and number 10 i have no team no wealth no team no wealth if you don't have a team of course there is no way you have a sustainable uh, business and that is part of the reasons i wrote my book it's going to help you build a solid team do all you can to raise solid leaders if you don't have leaders in your team your your team will, will not grow you 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 won't end the way you want to end you won't achieve your dreams you at the end of the day you might end up being frustrated because if there's no duplication in your team forget it you have no network marketing business you just have another job because you'll be stressing yourself and be doing everything alone so if you want to have a, a solid team if you want to achieve your dream if you want to be successful please do your best to raise solid leaders and build a solid team and this my book you can get it from my website www.ahomambadiwe.com get a copy for yourself get for your downlines get for your your friends anybody that you want to join into the, into the business because it's not just for people in business uh people that are about to join can also read the book and they will understand it and trust me it's going to help you build a solid team that will help you have sustainable success in your network marketing business my name again is mrs ahoman badewe madaforo uh and i want you to succeed i'm committed to your success Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Ahoman Badiwe Madufora is the handle. And you get more of our trainings. Thank you very much for listening.